Okay, so this morning I'm just going to give you a quick look at the irrigation system I have set up for my raised garden beds here. I'm using this rain barrel here primarily, but it's also uh, set up where I can alternately use the garden hose if I don't have enough rainwater in the uh, barrel. So I'll give you a quick look here. So what I have is I have the rain barrel, which is connected to one of the downspouts off of my garage roof, which I have then plumbed into a half inch PVC line. I have a shutoff valve there, a union so I can separate everything if I need to. And this is a small um, uh, 12 volt water pump there. And this is a solenoid valve to open and close this line. Now the reason I use the pump is because the gravity uh, feed off of the tank works good when it's full but as the tank gets lower it doesn't uh, not much will come out the drippers so that's why I use this little pump and then I have that uh, I just kind of I drill the hole through and it goes into the garage to a transformer and a switch that I can turn on and off when I want to want to water off of the rain barrel so after the pump turns on and the solenoid valve opens which happens simultaneously I have the water will run through these PVC frames which run along my raised beds here. You can see them on all sides of my raised beds here. So basically I ran one main that goes along back over there is my rain barrel and it runs along back straight over here and then on that it tees off into all these runners then off of the pvc lines that i ran i used these little um i found them on ebay actually was the only place i could find them but they screw into uh, pvc so you drill a hole and tap it and it's a quarter uh, 28 thread i think it was and then it goes to a barb fitting where you can attach your little dripper lines and as you see here uh, these are adjustable little dripper heads. You could use whatever kind of dripper heads you want. If you want to use a fixed gallon per hour or whatever, I use the adjustables. Uh, but basically that's it. So they are, I have a, some of them that are branched off. These go to my onions here. All my tomato plants have one. These are the ones for my beans, which I just kind of tapped off of the main. So far it's been working great. I'd say the only problem is the capacity of the rain barrel. It holds about 55 gallons, but in 12 minutes of watering my garden, I use about half the rain barrel. So I definitely need to uh, put some more rain barrels in series with that and increase my capacity. But I'll give you a quick look. I do have it set up where I can use a garden hose on the other end as well. That main line that comes all along the back of my beds here uh, I do have it running all the way down over here. It comes along next to this raised bed so I can have some lines off of it for my basil and my sweet potatoes. And then comes down here and terminates and I put another valve on this end. So depending on which uh, I'm using rainwater or city water, I can valve it off. Now this part here, this is just a quick release. It's kind of like a union type thing that I put on there so I can take this off. Now this here is a water pressure reducer because your city water comes out at a much higher pressure than the rain barrel pump will. And uh, that's, the dripper heads are only rated for like 20 gallons per minute or something like that. Uh, but anyways, this knocks it down to what you need and this is just to keep crud out of the end while I'm not using it just a little plug but basically I hook this on the end of my garden hose hook my garden hose on here using a little quick coupling open the valve and boom I can use the city water but I have to make sure the valve on the other end is closed when that one's open okay so I haven't finished completely uh, mounting the electrical controls in this yet, but what I did to power this whole thing was I used one of these uh, Wi-Fi smart plugs so I can turn it on even if I'm not home I can turn this on as the intention and you could use just a regular wind-up timer or something to power this but basically the 110 volts comes in it turns on this transformer now this is just a uh, 110 to 12 volt transformer the same thing like you would use to power like LED lights or something like that LED strip lights 
um, and then the, the 12 volts comes out and I have it going through a time delay relay. Now the purpose of the time delay relay on this is that if I was to pull power directly from the transformer as soon as this kicks on, like if I was to use the power out of here to go directly to the pump in the solenoid valve, I'm afraid it might overload it. You know, that initial load is kind of hard on transformers. So this gives it one minute for this to uh, warm up before the time delay kicks in and lets the power go through to my pump and the solenoid valve. Both of these components are um, rated for, you know, some level of waterproof, but just in case I did make this little rain shield to go over them, which I just put a couple of screws in to, to hold it into place and keep it covered up. And that's it. So that's my rain barrel system here.